Hello folks and welcome back to the Let's Check It Out series. And yes folks, today we're going to and yes folks, wow. Uh today folks, we're going to be checking out Tenderfoot Tactics. This is a game that is um part of the Summer Steam Festival uh game demo playoffs thing. So we're going to be playing this demo today. Uh just keep in mind that there is a ton of people that worked on this game individually. And I'll leave all the I'm going to try to leave all their links in the description down below for their for their individual Steam pages and their Twitters if they leave them down there. But you guys can follow Tenderfoot Tactics if you enjoy this game and you want to try it out yourself it's on steam right now during the during the festival and if you want to get further updates on it go check them out over on twitter at tenderfoot tactics at twitter.com i'll leave a link for all that in the description down below i'm going to continue my save file because so what i did was what i did was is i already recorded this whole thing and i just wanted to get a feel for it i was making kind of tons of jokes and all the good stuff like that but for now for now, because the sound was all messed up and the in-game volume, I never lowered it down. It was super fucking loud, like super, super loud. So the whole point of the demo is to come over here to talk to Onyx and just like test the game, like do some practice. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna fight some of these losers and show you, because you can go around asking people to join your squad and you need a team of six. So right now we have uh, we have an archer with a fire arrow and a grenade, uh, goblin peanut. By the way. I'm sorry, ten I, I'm getting way, way ahead of myself. Uh, Tenderfoot Tactics, by the way, guys, is a uh, is a game that is about a party of goblins that has been granted magic by an ancient spirit, which wanders, uh, and they wander the archipelago, uh, fighting back the terrible fog. Uh, they wield weapon, uh, wielding elemental power with wild repercussions in this open world tactics RPG, which was really cool. I love the fact that this is the case. You can walk around and start fights with people, and then you have to fight them like this. Like a, a an area will spawn, and we're just gonna we're just gonna run with the team that we have. Actually, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna run with the team we have right now because we got we pretty much have a tank, uh, a speedy dagger guy with a shield, two bowmen. One of them has a heal, so I, I'm feeling pretty good about the squad actually. All right, so who's going first? Our knight's going first. We're going to move him. Every turn, you have to at least move and then attack. You have to do an action and then move and wait. You know what I mean? You have to, do, you have to move and do something else. So our knight is going to do this really cool thing that's in this game. With physical attacks, like shield bash, for example, you can hit people and give them a nerve. And what that does is, is it moves them down in the line. As you can see here, this goblin's at the bottom of the list, but if he was before, like if he wasn't six and he was five, instead he'd be knocked to the six slot. If you unnerve somebody in this game, you move them down one, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna hit him for a bunch of damage because why not? Uh, and then we're gonna leave our knight to face this way. Um, Peanut is next, so we're gonna move him. I want to get next to one of these knights, but I don't think it's possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move Peanut. Oh, never mind. Whose turn is it? Yeah, Peanut. We're gonna move Peanut. Oh yeah, I see. I, I saw that line, and I was like, "Oh, I, I couldn't see the green going to blue." So yeah, we're gonna move. We're gonna move Peanut here, and I think what we're gonna do is toss a grenade on this boy, which will kill him. Bam! Look at that shit. Loving it. All right. And I think the idea is that you're supposed to also move over these spots and uh, steal the experience, but I don't quite understand that. Maybe it's just extra experience. I'm not really sure. I don't know what happens if like I don't know what happens if an enemy. Uh, picks up the, that swirly shit right there. Because that swirly shit right there is experience. I don't know what happens if an enemy picks up. I also want to know what that... I don't know if you guys can see it, but this, like... Oh, it's just grass. Never mind. All right, who's next? Our archer? Okay, so we're going to move way over here. And we're going to hawk a fire arrow right in his dome. Mm, eat that 38. I'm going to wait. All right, our squad is doing real good right now. We're pretty even. Everyone's doing wonderful. Why did he summon a bush? That's so weird. What is his other ability? Is he just summoning bushes? I'm not really sure what's going on. Because all we have is shield bash, but we have the same... I'm very I'm very concerned about this. Okay. So let's see. Who's this guy? That's that guy down there. We want to hit this guy on the side. Watch. If we hit this guy from his side, it'll move him down in line. He's at three right now. This will move him to four. Bam, look at that. Now they're at the bottom. Now our entire team gets to, like, you know, do something before... I think, I think the main idea is to, like, make the other team not be able to move is, the is I think, the real idea here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for a grenade and toss it on this dude's face. This way they both get hit. I don't think grenades can unnerve. 
which is, I think, very clever. And range, like ranged attacks cannot unnerve enemies, and I really love that. That's a thing. It makes it makes you have to think and really place your characters correct. Never mind. I just unnerved that guy. Never mind. It must be underneath special circumstances. So let me move. You actually wait. Can I see where you can you hit that dude? Oh my god, you totally can. Get that guy. Deadzo. Wonderful. Can I still move? I'm still allowed to move. Or I can wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna wait. Oh, Peanut! Oh, Shield Bash hits them both. It hits the guy next to him, too. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. So, it's Delphine's turn. We're gonna move him to here. Shield Bash this dude. Ooh, and then we hit Peanut, too. That's not safe. Okay, we're gonna wait. And I think it's safe to let Peanut just... Not grenade. Not, not grenade. Let's just have him attack the knight from behind. And unnerve him and knock him down. Wonderful. And then we can have Peanut walk away? Maybe? Let's have Peanut walk away. Excellent. And then let's move you. I want to try out the heal and see what it does. Because there's... Oh, it's Song. Oh, shit. Yeah, wait. What is, is Song a heal thing? Oh my god, you can heal enemies? Oh, that's so... That's so wild. That's nuts. Alright, can we move you? Let's move you... Yeah, let's move you right here. Oh, and then we can pick up the experience! That's wonderful. Can we unnerve him like this? Fire arrow. Wait, I'm confused. Am I stuck? Oh, maybe I can't do it because I'm too close? That might be exactly what it is. I'm just too close to him. That's fine. We got a shield bash right here. This will unnerve him times two, apparently. Oh, wow. This dude is just not getting to attack. Okay. And then you can just wait where you are. That's fine. Wait where you are. Peanut, go in for that finishing blow. I was going to heal you, but that's fine. You, you can just take this dude out. Attack him right in the back. Let him have it. Perfect. I really like this game. I really like this game. I like the fact that we're all goblins. I like the fact that we can run around and add more people to our team if we want. There's missions like I'm gonna that that T button's blinking on the bottom left hand corner. So let's let's see what's up here. Yeah, see like you can see your whole team who's with you right now. You can see uh, you can train people up and give them new abilities, which is pretty fucking cool. Like, can we talk about that? That's pretty awesome. Can we like upgrade? Cool. I don't know what I just did, but I sure did a thing. Oh, I see, because this guy has two points. Has two points. Two uns... Okay, okay, okay. So if he... Learn per... What is this? Oh, it's first aid two. Oh, see, so this heals for more. So if I do this... Oh, he now has first aid two. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And if I go to this guy... Oh my god, what's up? Okay, wait. So we have one skill point unspent. So can I just do this? And then can I just do this oh oh i see so if i okay so how do i know how many points it's worth then double damage from behind these are also water moves interesting oh and then i can give him one of the bigger moves and just take it off okay like are these so take this off You can, sit, you can customize these guys however you want. When an enemy moves out of your adjacent square, the gets an opportunist. Peanut could be an opportunist. We're going to make Peanut the opportunist. Takes himself in damage. Oh, that's what the knight had. The knight has protective. That's what it is. He has the protective ability. Double damage from behind. I kind of like that idea. Peanut could be a backstabber. Can we give him more stuff too? Breaks destructible objects. First aid. Can we just give him more of the... We can give them three abilities? Oh my fucking god, this is so cool. I really like this a lot. I'm not going to jump into another battle, but I want to run around a little bit and see some more. Like, I love this, like, trippy... Like, look at how, like, the world seems alive as you're walking towards things. Like, this is really cool. I really like this. I really, really do. Um, let's just see what this is here. I think this is just an event or a, a quest or something. Oh yeah, what's this? Rest until vest... Rest, rest until the vestibule. Nice. Whoa! This whole place lit up! Okay, I would do the festival, but I'm running out of time, guys, for video time, so... 
if you want to see the whole festival or you want to join the tournament, do download this game. It's it's free on it's free on Steam right now to download the demo. Try it out, give it a shot. This game is a lot of fun. Bye bye. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me.